Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty in chapter thirty. Chapter thirty is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and AC circuits. So there, you can see we have this system, right? And the, this is a coaxial cylinders of a coaxial cable. So that means the inner cable and outer cable. And uh, we need to find the total energy stored per unit length in the magnetic field in this space. Mm -hmm. So it looks like first we need to find the magnetic energy density mu b and do the integral in this space, right? The, so the magnetic energy density mu b can be write as b squared divided by two mu naught. So it looks like we need to find the magnetic field in this space. And luckily, we did this part in the example uh, 5 in this chapter 30. So now you can see, you can get the mu uh, as a B magnetic field as mu naught I divided by 2 pi R. So input the B inside, now you get the energy density at zero. If we want to do the integral, you can see, we can see this mu B is a function for R. So very obviously, we can split this space in multiple loops, right? And so for this one loop, you can see the cross-sectional areas for it is 2 pi r times dr, right? The length is dr, and 2 pi r is the circular length. So this is cross-sectional areas. And how long it has? L, right? L. So that means the dv can be 2 pi r dr times l. Now we input mu b and dv inside do the integral from r1 to r2. We get the function at zero. And there we need to find the total energy per unit length. So we use mu div uh, u divided by l. So get the final answer there. Thank you.